going on, <clears throat> everyone, and welcome back to the installment of Keeping It Short. I got my good buddy, William Snotty, with me, uh, or should I call him Dad now? Uh, first of all, how is baby Liam? He is fantastic. He's better than I ever thought he would be. Yep. Uh, I, I just think it's funny. Earlier this week, our, fun, our friend, mutual friend Taylor, who has also been on the show, said, I can't believe one of us has a kid on purpose. <laughs> yeah, the on purpose thing really made me laugh. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we got him on today. Not to talk about his baby, I just wanted to throw that in there. But your Washington Capitals finally, finally won the Stanley Cup. Go, talk me through it, man. What are you feeling? I mean, like, from the previous podcast, like, I... I did not expect them to win. I knew they would make it to the Stanley Cup, but I didn't think they'd win. Because weren't they down, by the time we did that podcast, weren't they down 2-0 to Tampa, or was it 2-1? Um, I can't remember. No, uh, we were up 2-0. That's, That's right. I'm sorry. You're right. You're right. They were up 2-0. I think it was before the, uh, the conference finals. I think round two just ended. It was roughly, yeah, it was roughly around there. That's right. That's right. That's right. You're right about that. Um, yeah. Whew, like, I can't believe we won in game five. Like, that's crazy. We lost the first one and then just four straight again, just like we did with the uh, Blue Jackets. Yeah, uh, definitely. I, and I said it last time we podcast that I think if the stars are aligning for any team, it's Washington. And sure enough, it happened. They were down 2-0 to Columbus, won four in a row. And then, I don't remember the Pittsburgh series, but they pretty much, didn't they win that in six or five? Yeah, we won it in six, and it was kind of a, uh, I think they went up game one, and then it was like, even, we win, even, we win, and then we won again. I mean, th- I mean, Washington showed something I don't think they have ever been able to show in the postseason, and that just is resiliency. Like I said, down 2-0 to Columbus, won four in a row. And I believe you're right, I think they were down 1-0 maybe. Or tied one one heading back to Pittsburgh, and they showed resiliency again. Won the series, then they went up two zero to Tampa and lost three in a row. Correct? And yeah, then lost it, three in a row, and then Holby had two shutouts in games six yeah. and seven to keep us. And then lost going. game one in Vegas, and then won four in a row. So incredible, incredible run. I will say that. Yeah, well, and I you're got, rocking the yeah, Barstool Sports our year, which is hilarious because you, I've known you for. A long time, but I've only known you as a Caps fan the last two years, and you've been saying next year's our year, and sure enough, <laughs> it literally was your year. Yeah, I mean, because uh, uh, my roommate uh, the, pre- the previous year before I moved back here to Hoover was a uh, he's from DC and is a Caps fan, and he got me going on that. But <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, last year, I mean, I was so mad because we were getting all we weren't getting any bounces at all. Things were just. Like bouncing in the goal in pass hole B uncontrollably, and then this year we got every single bounce opportunity, <laughs> everything. I think uh, Jay Beagle shot the puck wide right, and somehow it just bounced back left in past Murray. I think. Yeah, I mean that's really all it takes is getting the right, not right, getting a hot goalie and uh, <clears throat> getting the bounces. Yeah, and <clears throat> whew, like. <laughs> I'm still every day. I'm just like, yes. And I, mean, I, I, I will say this: <laughs> you're a father now. You're a capture Stanley Cup champions. I don't want to hear a peep mm-hmm. if the Giants and Auburn and the Auburn Tigers don't do not perform very well this year. Yeah, I think Giants go eight and eight. I mean, that, that's not that surprising, but it's better. It's better, right? Uh, but one more thing I wanted to talk about, uh, which is. I think what's interesting about this Washington story is you told me last year after they lost in the second round again to Pittsburgh, they had a bunch of guys that were about to be free agents and you thought that they were going to blow it up and it looked like they might for a while. There was rumors Ovechkin was going to get traded to Vegas. They might not bring back TJ Oshie. I forget some of the other guys, Burakovsky maybe and Kuznetsov and they ended up re-signing all of them, gave it one more shot, and here they are as champions a year later. Yeah, I mean, guys, yeah, I, I posted last year, uh, I read an article that they were going to let Ovechkin, like, they weren't going to protect him and just let him be drafted by Vegas, and I thought that was insane because, I mean, he was 31 at the time. He still got used to, as, I mean, 
won the Richard Trophy and the Conn Smythe, so obviously he still has it in him. And uh, I'm glad we signed TJ Oshie back. I mean, we couldn't let him go. TJ Oshie, American hero. I love, I love me some TJ. And he, he pulled the whole, uh, you know, my dad, you know, gave me the heartfelt story after winning the cup and about how his dad having dementia. I can relate to that. My grandfather has dementia. It is very tough. Uh, yeah, pulling, pulling out the feels right after the cup. Mm-hmm. But how about this? Another thing I want to talk about is I actually was cheering for Washington. I'm not a huge Washington fan. You annoy the crap out of me with the Capitals. <laughs> and so I almost just cheer for them, just, or I'm sorry, cheer against them so that you'll shut up. Um, mm. But then this playoff run, though, I was cheering for them. I, in the cup, I was. I wasn't cheering for them against Tampa because Boston lost to Tampa. I wanted Tampa to at least make a run then if Boston was going to lose. And then they won, and then they played Vegas. I'm like, well, I'm not cheering for Vegas, a first-year team in the Cup. No way. I was cheering for Caps all the way. And then uh, yeah. I was actually – and then I was happy Ovechkin finally got over the hump. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was the opposite. Like, I mean, if there's any team to win the Stanley Cup besides the Caps, I would love for it to have been the Golden Knights. I mean, their story is insane. It's, every player picked was like – their team left them out to dry. And then that's like, true. they all come together and just make it to the Stanley Cup their first year. That's amazing. And, and I think that's what's funny is that was the story of the year probably. And they don't get it done, obviously. They run into a hot Washington team. But then now Washington, like all the things I just said, Ovechkin finally getting over the hump. Washington winning their first Stanley Cup ever. Uh <clears throat> The fact they were about to blow it all up last year and just start over, I mean, that kind of overshadows Vegas now as the story of the the year, at least the playoff, at least for the playoffs. Yeah, and <laughs> I, I, I can't believe that uh, we did, like, our, if you look at our uh, home and away record, it's the opposite of what, like, our regular season has been. Like, we've always lost on, on the road, and then we uh, – Win a lot at home, and then that was reversed, and something like that helped us win. <laughs> yep. Uh, I thought that was a pretty, pretty interesting stat. And then let's finally get into all of the uh, celebrations. I'll tell you right now, and I'm not just saying this to sound like a hater. I'm not sure this team makes the playoffs next year, given the way they're celebrating. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> they are they are celebrating like they've never won a cup before. Uh, but well, I mean, I don't mind the celebration. It's, it's just like, oh my gosh, you know, save something for next year. Yeah, they're. Uh, I mean, Ovechkin is just going in, going insane, uh, doing uh, cup stands at the uh, Nationals game, and then doing them uh, just random and sleeping with the trophy. Like he's. It's getting. I mean, <laughs> we really we talked about it earlier in the week. It's getting to the point, and he like it's cool the first couple times. You know, you kiss the cup, you sleep with the cup. That's fine. For you drink out of it, but now it's a, about a week later. He's still sleeping with the cup. He's still drinking. You're almost kind of worried about him. Yeah, I, I understand like carrying it around. Yeah, like everywhere because like this is the Stanley Cup, but yeah. he's. He's kind of <laughs> taking it a little too far sometimes. Uh, it's really I, I, when I saw that picture of him sleeping with it this week, uh, it was reminded me of the league when they would sleep with Shiva, uh, yeah. and then they would have sex with the trophy. I'm like, is he having sex with that thing? <laughs> Roster baiting. Yeah. Ro- <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I'm really not sure. I'm sure this team's going to be in the playoffs again next year. They're probably going to be fine. But I'm like. Wait. They just look like a team that could just have a serious hangover next year after finally getting over the hump. Well, it, all, it just depends on uh, who we sign because I, I know for a fact uh, Smith Pelly, Carlson, and Jay Beagle are free agents. I mean, Trotz technically is a free agent, but he's going to be signed for sure. Yeah, I, I, um, I think. I mean, even you said when they were kept having the second round exits, not really. It wasn't really Trotz's fault. I thought this year, though, if we lost the Penguins, then he like he wouldn't be back with the Caps just because, I mean, your goal is to win the Stanley Cup, and if you, I don't know. I just I didn't think he was going to get it. But uh, I definitely think we're going to write a blank check for Carlson because, I mean, our defense is like our weak point, and he is, I think, is the highest scoring defenseman in the playoffs, or I'm pretty sure that's what it was. So we'll definitely sign them to probably Devontae Smith-Pelly. 
Who who was the guy you traded for? Was that Carlson? Uh, no, uh, Kentney. Um, yeah, uh, Kentney, uh, Kentney. Chicago. Kentney, that's right. Um, yeah. But yeah, crazy, crazy few uh, day last few days. I'm sure for you. I I remember that game. You know, the game five. I was watching it. They were losing most of the game going into the third period, and then they tied it. I'm like, oh damn. And then they took the lead right afterward. And I start, I sent like the eyes emoji. I was like, are they really going to do it? And, I, and like the, the go ahead goal was just like when it snuck past uh, Flurry. And then Lars Eller was just like, oh, scoop. Like, <laughs> I thought that was a perfect way to, uh, to cap off the season. Well, uh, I was going to do the odds for next year. I completely forgot about it, though. Let me try to find it here. Um, I'm pretty sure the favorite for next year was it's Tampa Ve- Bay. I Is thought. it Tampa? I thought it was Vegas. I don't think it was Vegas. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was Tampa. But like it was like there were a bunch of teams that were like right there next to each other. Yeah, they, they I think they, they were the top two teams, and then it was like Boston, Pittsburgh, and. Yeah, maybe Nashville for third. Let me try to find yeah, it. Here. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're not gonna. They shouldn't have any free agents this off season. I have, I have seen this though. Odds on what team John Carlson will play for next year? The Capitals are the favorite right now. It, I bet my mortgage on the Capitals. There's no way that we let him go after um, the season he's had. They got a lot of hockey ones here. We can talk about that another time when free agency rolls around. Uh, okay. let me try to find it though. Yeah, just because I mean, because I think Kipney is uh he's a free agent. That's right, and I think he was talking about going to Europe. Europe. Um, yeah, but if I mean he had he had an amazing season with the Caps the last few weeks. I don't see why we wouldn't try and sign him as well. Here, let me just Google it. <laughs> this is a bad look by me. I look completely unprepared. Yeah. Well, on uh. Going from the last podcast when I said Evander Kane was the best uh, pickup or like trade or whatever of the, before the deadline, I think Caps picking up Kempney was the best. I mean, he he kind of it took a little bit for him to get uh, warmed up to the team, but once playoffs started on, he was like connecting boom right there with Carlson. Yeah, I agree. He uh, and he went from a fourth line, like sometimes healthy scratch, to like first or second line. Okay, yeah, here we go. The high scoring defenseman. I got it here. So the Tampa Bay Lightning just edged out Nashville for the favorite at plus 1,000, followed by Nashville. And then the Bruins, Penguins, and Maple Leafs. Or no, I'm sorry, Bruins, Penguins, Maple Leafs, Golden Knights, Caps, and Jets are all tied for third. So Really? Yeah. And then followed by Edmonton, who was my Stanley Cup pick this year. Uh, and then Anaheim, Chicago, San Jose. So I was was wondering when San Jose was going to show up because I mean, Commander Kane is there through this year's through through next year as well. Yeah, they still got Pavelski and Brett Burns. What are your expectations for next year? (laughs) Are you just Uh, happy with this one? I I definitely think we'll make the playoffs, but it might be an early exit. I really, I mean. Hey, hey, after you win stuff. one, I mean, you'll take an early exit the next year. Uh, I, I don't think it'll be an early exit. It just depends on who we play, really. I think we'll play some, probably play the Penguins in the second round again. I wouldn't doubt it. Probably. I mean, that's the way the bracket works. The Metropolitan teams play each other. I mean, all the yeah. divisions play each other. So, yeah, yeah, definitely probably Pittsburgh again in the second round. Mm-hmm. But, all right, my man, we didn't want to keep this very long. I know it's late. Uh, it's over. It's past, oh, no, it's 10 o'clock right on the dot, so not quite as late for you. Okay, I was going to say, 10 o'clock, damn. No, it's 9 o'clock nah, here. No, it's 10 o'clock here. Um, but thank you for coming on. I really wanted – we meant to do this over the weekend, and I completely forgot about it. Yeah, I, like Monday I rolled around. I was like, hey, man, like, sorry I forgot. No, I – I meant to text you Saturday, and I was like, oh, I need to text William later today, and then completely forgot about it. Yeah. I wanted to do it after the game to get your immediate reaction following. I th- yeah, felt like that would have yeah, been better. Yeah, I, I would have. It was Thursday night, and I had work early in the morning. And well, then, you know, the baby, so I was just doing a bunch of things at once. Yeah. 
I remember seeing I, you didn't. I mean, you didn't even. Yeah, I think you posted the score on Snapchat. I remember when J- when James and his Eagles won the Super Bowl. I saw a post of one of the other friends that we have. Uh, he was after the game, just oh my, like <laughs> on Dude, Snapchat. Like, I could, when it happens, like. But the, I mean, the Super Bowl I, I, I is first, bigger than the Stanley Cup, but yeah. Yeah, when when, it, when the clock hit zero, like I jumped up, and then after that, uh, I just kind of sat down on the couch and then watched all the Caps like celebrate on the field. I was just like, this is crazy. Like, yeah. Definitely, definitely, definitely. But yeah, uh, thank you for coming back on. I know it's not easy with you with this newborn baby. Uh, we'll get you back on though, probably for free agency. Talk some more NHL, especially if Carlson leaves or signs with the Capitals. He's gonna, he's gonna sign. Like he's gonna sign back with the Capitals. He loves it there, and we will not let him go for a fact. All right. Uh, thank you once again for coming on. Uh, congratulations to. You and your Washington Capitals, Stanley Cup champs. Uh, year. <laughs> yeah, next year is our year. I, I love saying that it was literally your year. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Later.